Alright, this is Exodus, Too Close to the Sun. Um, we're actually almost done with the first half of this mission. This is another pretty long mission, but um, this first half is by far the easiest part. The hard part, <laughs> that, that's coming up. It's a bitch. But for now, it's not bad. Uh, there'll be a couple more jackals here, acro here across the bridge. <sighs> and uh, inside will be a lot of um, a lot of brutes. And the way I go about this is probably not the best way you can go about this, but it's the way that I did it. So, get over it. Um, I, what I did was I used this top, the uh, upper level here to try and get the drop on the, on the brutes down there. Uh, I've seen some people can just take them out from the open, from the uh, front door. I had trouble with that, so I just did it this way. Um, another great re another great reason for being up here is that you can take out the two turrets that are hiding down here on the landing platform. When you shoot the... Well, that one's already dead, apparently. When you shoot the gunner, the turret blows up on its own. So you don't have to worry about anyone else hopping in it. That's always nice. Once you actually get inside, there will be, um, I think, a few grunts and jackals. Main, your main concern is going to be more brutes. Of course. Bastards won't leave you alone. Most of them are just going to be the normal brutes. Nothing too serious. I think there's a, a fuel rod cannon brute in the back of this room. Um, so, now that you've kind of led the brutes up to this open, to the front door, then you can, um, start taking them out, start picking them off. Oh, it's a hammer guy, that's right. Okay. Well, there's a hammer guy in the back. For obvious reasons, you don't want him to be near you. So um, head upstairs, and for some reason, I guess he can't go upstairs or something. I don't know. But you can kind of hang out upstairs and shoot at him. And he will just be bewildered at your abilities to shoot at him. Okay, yeah, there is a fuel rod guy. I knew there was. Yes, this is the area I recommend using the rocket for. Um, I don't know what blew up on me. I guess I hit his fuel rod blast. Something. I don't know. That was weird. But, um... I recommend saving... You know, if you can, save a couple rockets or something. Because uh, the next fight, it, it'll be uh, very helpful. There's the guy. Yeah, I have no idea why, but you can kind of keep him distracted down here. And I mean, if you if he does start climbing the stairs, you can hop around beauty of a jetpack I'm 
Alright, so once he's down, um, everything else should be cleared away. And uh, I think one of your, one of the soldiers starts talking to you on the radio. And once you get your new objective, or once you, once a little completed objective pops up, then you can head out to the landing platform and there will be a pelican, or a, yeah, no, maybe it's a hornet, I can't remember what's hanging out there. Something that flies is waiting for you to take its gun. Get on board, Lieutenant. We've got civilians that need immediate assistance. It is. Or a falcon. Damn it. 